The great Alfa Romeos of the past were, were known for three things. Uh, State-of-the-art technology, incredible performance, and really the drop-dead gorgeous Italian design and style that the best Alphas really are known for. The 4C marks Alphas return to the North American marketplace after a 20-year absence. And it's a great example of those three attributes that make up the best Alfa Romeos of the past. From a technological uh, standpoint, it's really a supercar setup. Carbon fiber chassis, aluminum subframes, and a mid-engine uh, setup. And not just any mid-engine, but an aluminum block, direct injection, intercooled, turbocharged, 237 horsepower engine, 258 pound-feet of torque. And when you think about the setup of carbon fiber, uh, aluminum subframes, and mid-engine, it's really unique for vehicles costing less than a million dollars. You've got the LaFerrari, you've got the McLaren P1, you've got the 918 Spider, all uh, in and around, and in some cases, over the million dollar mark. And then from a performance standpoint, the performance of the, the 4C is, is really remarkable. Zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And to put that into, into context, that's up to 1.3 seconds faster than the Porsche Cayman and up to a half second faster than the Porsche 911. And then of course, from the Italian design and style, it's pretty evident in looking at the car. Really, what is unique about the Spider is kind of a, a carbon fiber uh, halo roof, uh, a center exhaust option shrouded in, in carbon fiber, but still retaining a lot of that rigidity of the 4C coupe because it leverages off of uh, the carbon fiber uh, chassis system. So most convertibles as a derivative uh, off of their, uh, their coupe counterparts generally add 100, 200, even up to 300 pounds of weight, believe it or not. But because of the structure of the 4C coupe, it's only a 22 pound weight addition with the 4C Spider and able to retain all of the great performance characteristics of the coupe. 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and then of course all of that open air freedom. Really it's a vehicle that you just add sunglasses and you're good to go.